Okay, this is going to be a video talking about RPG games then and now, okay? Um, a lot of people, like a lot of new gamers I've noticed, okay? I've noticed something about new gamers or like gamers that are really, really, didn't really play a lot of the old RPGs back in the day because they felt that the RPGs were either too tedious because you either got random battles too much or the constant turn-based battles were like, I hit you, you hit me kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the old... RPGs of that era, especially with the NES and the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, you know. But really, a lot of the fans have to realize, a lot of the older fans have to realize that those games were really, really marvels, are really, really great around that time. I mean, you can't really, I mean, now, I mean, yeah, they've showed their age now, but I mean, around like in the mid 90s, because I remember the mid 90s, you had games like Final Fantasy 2 and 3 or I mean, or if you want to say, if you want to be technical, 4 and 6 on that Super Nintendo. Even though they may be a bit tedious now, but back then they were really, really great. And they were the first, really the first games to introduce an active time battle system. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was turn-based, but it was still active time. You know, and games like Chrono Trigger. You know what I'm saying? Even though it may show its age now, but it was really, really good back in the mid-90s. It was awesome for the mid-90s, you know? And... A lot of the fans, a lot of the new RPG or new gamers nowadays don't really like those kinds of games or like they never really got into them. Like I mean like games like this, like this, I grew up playing this kind of game, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star 2. I grew up playing this game. This is like one of the first RPG games I ever really played. And even though it may show its age today, but back around when this game was made, which was around 1989, this game was really, really great for its day. It was really, really awesome. It was the best graphics it had. It kicked the shot of any NES RPG out there with its 16-bit graphics and its anime graphics, and it was something that was never really seen before at that time. You know, so you have to really take things in content, you know, so you can't really, I mean, even though some people say that this game right now is, is shit right now, but back then, this game really, really defined what RPGs are today. You know, like, if it wasn't really for this game, you wouldn't see many RPGs that are out there today. You wouldn't see games like a lot of the um, Kingdom Hearts games. You wouldn't see anything like that. You wouldn't see a lot of the Shin Mugamami Tensei games. You wouldn't see nearly as many RPGs out there because RPGs now are popular. Unlike, unlike you know, they were back in the 90s. Even though in the 90s they were popular, but they were more of a hardcore gamer type thing. They weren't mainstream. You know, they weren't to the mainstream gamer. You know, so... I mean, though, now a lot of the RPGs are based around real-time action. You know, real-time strategy or real-time action. Like, even the even the new Final, Fan Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy XII, is geared around real-time action, even though I think it's broken. But I think it's the reason why I'm not really into the RPG scene right now, because I think that RPGs right now... They're not like they used to be back when I was a kid. Back when I was a kid, I really liked playing the turn-based RPGs. I really liked playing the tactical-based RPGs. And that's the reason why I still like playing those games. That's the reason why I still like I played. Uh, I like playing Dragon Quest VIII. Even though Dragon Quest VIII was a turn-based game, I still enjoyed it. And I still enjoyed games like Evolution for the Dreamcast, even though it was a turn-based game. And people would say it was a tedious, it was a dungeon crawl, it was boring after a while. I still enjoyed it. I still like the game. You know, so I think that right now... Um, RPGs have changed over the years, so that's the reason why people can't really go back and play turn-based games, games like the old Final Fantasies and all that, even though I have no problem with them because I love those games. I love playing games such as, as these two, the remakes of Final Fantasy. I love playing those games. I beat both these games. I love them. Um, you know, so I think that now, I think gamers have to really, like new gamers, have to take the RPGs for what they are, you know, so really, you have to look at games like Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior and for what they are and what for what they left in the legacy of video gaming, because if it weren't for those games and for those ancestors, you wouldn't see the RPGs that are out today, so I just wanted to go and do like a little, not really a rant, but like a kind of a, um, a thing about RPGs now and then, you know, because now you're based around like real time and all that shit and really, really strategic and all that stuff. But you just have to take RPGs back then for what they are. And I still enjoy playing those games. That's the reason why I'm playing this game still. Um, I'm playing this game over again, as you know. But that was just my little bit of a 
talk about things about RPGs. So this is probably my last bit for the day. So spark them and.